I'm working from home today, but I really wanted to share. Yesterday, I had my monthly uh, appointment with my therapist. And in our discussion, we talked about a close friend of mine that died unexpectedly. And I have been emotionally distracted. It's been taking me several trips to leave the house. I have to work really hard to focus on tasks. And I knew that about myself. And I was giving myself grace in dealing with that. But in talking to my therapist yesterday, he brought out the reality and the connection that my friend's sudden death has impacted me because my late husband died suddenly. And that triggered me in a way that I wasn't even factoring in. I was thinking about the idea that she had died and the concept of that, but I didn't factor in the triggering part of the sudden death. And I'm grateful for the relationship I have with my therapist and for him to bring that out and make me more aware of how that trigger is impacting me. And the reality is, <laughs> as long as we are alive and as long as we are opening ourselves up to be loved, grief will always be a part of living. It's just learning to manage it. It's learning to open up and talk about it. We speak about so many things, but it seems so hard for people to talk about how we are impacted by the death of people we love, how it changes us, how it also makes us more vibrant to be alive and to choose to show up in ways that we never did before, how we are never the same because someone we love is no longer here. It changes the dynamics of how I have seen life, how I show up intentionally in ways that are so real because I know one day I will not have that moment. Either that person will no longer be here or my journey in life will be done. Hmm. Those are my thoughts. I just wanted to share them with you. Talk to you later.